The Jewish News Syndicate has published an article by Paul Miller in which in addition to serious problems in the diplomatic arena, the author spoke about anti-Semitism in Armenia. The author of the article reports that a video has gone viral online featuring virulent anti-Semitic and pro hamas comments from Vladimir Pokhosian, a former advisor to the chief of staff of Armenia's armed forces, who stated that he has never recognized the Holocaust and describes Jews as a destructive people who have no right to be on this earth. Miller quotes Boghossian's statements that Israel is fortunate he has not personally assisted the terrorist groups seeking its destruction. Otherwise if his intellect worked for Hezbollah or Hamas, 100,000 people would have been killed. Pogosian asserted that he considers the destruction of Jews as the highest act of justice. Miller also reminds us that on November 15th, the only synagogue in Armenia was set on fire by the Armenian Secret Army for the Liberation of Armenia Terrorist Group. This marks Armenian Secret Army for the Liberation of Armenia Terrorist Group's second attack on the Mordecai Navi Synagogue in the capital of Yerevan over the last two months. Miller emphasizes that toxic anti-Semitic rhetoric emanates not only from former officials like Pokhosian, but also from the highest levels of the Armenian government. In July, Armenia's Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan used a Holocaust analogy to describe Azerbaijan's liberation of its Karabakh region, while European rabbis called out Pashinyan's false analogy in a letter to Armenian leaders. Israel and the American Jewish community did not issue similar condemnations, complains Miller, as Israel experiences diplomatic salvos from around the world. It is incumbent upon the Jewish state and its advocates to speak out against Armenian anti-Semitism. Ignoring this scourge will only exacerbate it at a time when Israel needs the international community's support more than ever, writes Paul Miller.